when you think of France, people often think of Paris or the south of France like Nice. Don't get me wrong, all those places are absolutely beautiful. However, today I do want to talk to you guys about the west of France, more specifically the region of Bretagne. I apologize in advance, my French is not the greatest, so I might be pronouncing some of these towns wrong, so I do apologize in advance. In September, I was lucky to travel to France for about 10 days. It was such an incredible experience and I wanted to share it with you guys. Here are some great stops if you plan on visiting the west of France. Our first stop was Fort La Latte to see the stunning fortress. This overlooks the English Channel. People typically spend around one and a half hours here. Next, we headed over to Cap Frayel. Cap Frayel is a beautiful peninsula along the Côte de Mont. Great place to walk around and see the cliffs. You can even take a short walk over to the lighthouse. A few days later, we took overnight trip to Saint Malo. Saint Malo is a unique town because this small town is surrounded by a high granite walls. Inside the walls is this adorable little town filled with boutique shops, incredible restaurants, and hotels. When we arrived, we had lunch and wandered around before checking into our hotel. Bretagne is known for their amazing seafood. A unique dish I got to try for the first time was moule frites, which translate to mussel fries. Sounds different, but if you're a fan of seafood, you would definitely enjoy this. An important tip to note is to arrive extremely early because the parking spot fills up really quick. It took us about 20 to 30 minutes to park and even then we were about a one kilometer walk from the gates. Once we finished dinner, we wandered around the edge of the wall to watch a stunning sunset. The following morning, we checked out of our hotel and headed over to Mont Saint-Michel. At first glance, I immediately thought of Harry Potter and Hogwarts when I saw this. There's a few ways to get to Mont Saint-Michel from the parking lot. You can pay a few euros and take the horse carriage. You can take the free shuttle, which does become a bit crowded, and, or you can walk. So it's about a 15 minute walk one way. So for us, we took the free shuttle to the Mont Saint-Michel and we walked back to our car. Took some incredible photos, so quite happy with that. Hales Girec in Pluminac is also a great spot for a little overnight trip as well. Hales Girec is known for its great seaside resorts. When we arrived, we stopped for lunch with a stunning sea view and then walked along the coast. Weather was perfect, not too cold, not too hot. Shortly after, we checked into this charming boutique hotel called Hotel Le Menor du Sphinx. The following morning, we checked out of our hotel and headed over to Al de Brehat. This island is accessible by ferry. You have, you have two options. You can take the ferry directly to the island or you can take a little tour around the little islands, which is an additional 20 minutes more. Link in the ferry tour is below. I would recommend it. It is very beautiful. Once we got off the ferries, we rented bikes and we rode around the island and we saw the other end of the island as well. I never once doubted that France is a beautiful country. But being able to explore the Northwest region really made me appreciate how beautiful the country is and all the things that France has to offer. Imagine how many other hidden gems we are missing. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thank you.